Hey everybody, welcome back to Eldorado EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Arumba, Mathis, and Quill. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. You said my name first, and I didn't get to go first. Say my name, <laughs> say my name. That's no, not uh, what Northern Shanti. Lion says. That's Destiny's <laughs> child. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I got confused. Keep I, on confusing me. I can deal with this. The next revolt is going to be in 55.5 years. That's nice to see. That is pretty good. I got some pretty... Wow, I've got one in 500 years. <laughs> The Pate Nationalist. <laughs> That's good. How the fuck At do you tell when you're gonna have another three revolt? Years for the peasants. You need to have the, you need to have uh, like unrest in that province or something first. Oh, okay. And then I think it needs to get above a certain degree monthly before it'll even show up. They're know. still hostile toward me, but they like me by sixty-seven. I don't understand. Just love me, man. Come on, come on. How you doing, Ashanti? Uh, oh. Oh, he's mad at me because I aggressively expanded, even though he helped me in the war to aggressively expand. <laughs> One more month. One more month and you'll join the war. I know it. One more month. Just got to let that war exhaustion tick down to the point where you're ready to go to war again. Hypatia gets trade policy working for five years. More trade efficiency and trade range. Awesome. Super awesome. Here we go. Thalosocracy. Oh, that's the maritime ideas. Right, right, right. Military tech five, bitches. Aha, uh -huh. I already had that. I have I have score, by the way. Nice. Oh, wow. Congrats. Yeah. What's your score? One. Nice. Hey, it's something. It's good. Good. It's good. What's your score, Ryan? It's at eight now. Ooh, nice. That is pretty good, too. A Roomba? I mean, not a Roomba. Quill? Uh, I've got 35 points. I'm six Damn! Places. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that I don't know. You, you, all three of your Western powers, there'll be some catching up there. What was it? What did you say your score was? 30. Well, now it's 36. Wow. That's a lot. More than me. Hmm. Let me slowing down my conquest here for a second. We must kill the Batman. Kill the Quill. <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, quill. win this war. That I have no nothing. I can gain nothing from it. Even if they peace out Bremen, all they're going to do is they're going to take the money and they're going to take war reparations. <laughs> and I get nothing. And I can't yeah. negotiate separate. Uh, all right. Nope. That sucks. I need Mathis to uh, tech up real fast. What do you mean, tech up two? Yeah. Get about <laughs> five more techs right now. Oh, all right. On it. Actually, I could totally piece out the war leader using my war score from Bremen and take money from them. Kind of funny. Come on. Break him. Break him. Oh, Thuringia. I can't wait to break my alliance with you and conquer the shit out of you. <laughs> you are useless. <laughs> Just bodies. Good patriots. patriots. 3.8 years. What are these guys? Bulgarian patriots? How far away are they? 4.4 years. All right. Doable. Request for military access from Brazil? Sure, why not? I don't know where you are. <laughs> Go nuts. Yeah, they're not happy about me separate piecing them. But whatever. Good luck, Riga. <laughs> you can get to see Riga. I'm getting a little oh, bit wrecked. Lord. You know? <laughs> I just went in. Looks like siege down sidewalk like, art. Siege down five provinces in Bremen and used the war score to peace out Milan. <laughs> just ran away. <laughs> Goodbye. I got 40 ducats out of it. Probably paid for itself, maybe. Nothing to sneeze at. Paying off my loans. That's good. I got that going for me, which is nice. Australia's out of their war. How powerful are you, Australia, and is it worth stomping on you? You have 6,000 men, no manpower. Well, sad story. Wow. Where's Australia? Oh, there they are. Wait, where's Karga? 
confused. <laughs> Thuringia, come on, man. <laughs> I wiped out the person you're supposed to be attacking, and you're just hiding in my land. <laughs> That's so far away from where you need to be. <laughs> he's safe there, man. He is. He's so safe, he doesn't even understand. Come on back. There we go. That's a, an ally right there. Walked all the way through Sweden and Finland to come back down around to, like, Germany here. Who are you? Lon Zhang? Yeah, man. You're coming in. It'll be interesting. I think my allies are too stupid for me to win this war. <laughs> it's never a good thing to hear. It happens. It happens way too frequently. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could just give my vassals my technology levels. I'd give them a bonus toward it. Or something. Just help them out a little bit. Yeah. They're my vassals, man. Look, what I have is only one tech level above you. It's not that difficult. Just send over a couple of, like, uh, teachers and <laughs> teach them how it's done. He ain't heavy, man. He's my vassal. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How long is a thousand months? It's like <laughs> 10 years, right? No, wait. That's like 100 no, no years. Way, dude. 100 <laughs> yeah. years. So minus a certain amount, but yes. I was off by a factor, which is the best way to be off. Charcoal over here. Sorry, charcoal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting I'm getting these random Cassus Belly. Like I've got a Cassus Belly trade dispute against Sind. I'm like, why the hell do I have a CB against Sind? They're like basically where Venice would be or Ferrara or something. And I think they're privateering the Sevilla node. Ah. I think? Mm, nope. Nope, never mind. No clue. No clue why I'm getting SCP. <laughs> Brittany's being overrun by Coptic Zealots. That's great. There's actually a few countries I've seen here that have, like, their religion doesn't correctly match their provinces. Which makes me very excited because they're going to be torn apart. Why? Why would I have trade dispute against Milan? Like what? What? Where Mil Milan would normally be? Lombardia, Brescia. There's a little country called Berar. They're not even coastal, and I have trade dispute against them. Huh. They're not That's embargoing really strange. Me. There's no just, embargo. They just have a lot of trade power there. No, they they have no trade power in Sevilla. Like we oh. don't. We're not even near each other. All right, that just, literally makes no, no sense at all. I can't understand it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. How did they? How did my trade fleet teleport over here? Well, this is so weird. My strongest ally, which is like Livon Teutonic Order area, basically is in Sweden, killing my vassal's rebels, and my vassal is in, was the Teutonic Order area, amassing troops to help me in this attack. But they, they all suck. <laughs> what are you doing? We have, like, double their numbers. Huge numerical superiority, but you can't organize. There's no organizers. Click and drag. And then right click on one province. That's it. That's Is it going well do. for you then? Yeah, I mean, I should win, but I'm frustrated. And but at least this gives me a, an internal Casas belly to wipe them all off the face of the planet. Because I am displeased with their performances. How old is Quill Quill? So, did you guys know uh, this is. <laughs> This is something I learned from playing with Shen, actually, because he played a lot of EU3. Mm -hmm. If you if you have a colony, and let's say the native count is like 5,000 or 3,000 or whatever, you know how there's that random event that'll cause a native attack? Yes. No, but okay. yes. Go on. That, the amount of, like, colonists they kill is exactly one-tenth of the number of natives. Oh, okay. And mm. I, there's nothing about it in the game anywhere, but 
after playing with them and checking it, it's true. That's exactly what it is. But that's like what it was in EU3. And I just found it interesting that uh, like some of those provinces in Africa, for instance, have like 8,000 natives. They'll oh, wipe wow. a colony. Like, yeah. wow. 800 men. Just if you, you have to defend it. Which is kind of like, you know, intuitively you kind of learn that. But that's the math. I found uh, I found Castile. They're one province minor on the east coast of uh, Africa. Serves them right. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Screw those guys. Ah, thank you. Boom. Goodbye, Scotland. You get the hug. Man, these guys are going to oh. love having me as an ally until I completely turn on them. Ah, uh, Canada's entered a military alliance with our enemy. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> so, is there is there even any uncolonized land like in the New World, or is it all settled because of the random countries? Oh no, there should be blanks. Yeah, yeah. There's there's blank land in Africa too. Hmm. Like it doesn't get uh, completely filled. You sure about that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not seeing any. Can you see some on your map? Uh, well, yeah, I can see some empty land in Africa on my map, and in the games that I've been playing, there's definitely a place you can colonize a new world. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Unless all the natives are just migrated to the coast. <laughs> They're like, screw you! So I can mothball those. Oh, you still had fucking... Oh, my God. Get off of the <laughs> ship. <laughs> You've only got to walk over the entire eastern Baltic Sea. Just take your sweet-ass time. It's in April. It's half-frozen still. <laughs> only some of you will end up sinking and swimming. It's That's not a luck. problem. Complainers. This is, this is my first mega war that's going to last like two weeks. I can tell. But it's doing wonders for my score. Up to 13. How you feeling, Mathis? For what points? Yeah, what's your score? 13. Oh, snap. What's your place? 19th. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 20th. Ah, right above that. <laughs> Suck it. Damn it. Australia's next. Yeah? Eat them up. Or at least a part of them. I want their capital, but... Canberra. That's... No, no, they're fi their new capital. Kosaley. Co Kokaley. Don't even know her. What place What place are you in right now? 20th. Night 20th. Oh, trade efficiency plus 10%. Trade power broad 5%. How many, yes. uh, how many points you get in a month, though? Zero. Oh, I got 0.124. I'm coming for you, baby. Fuck. Eight months. You're gonna, get, you're gonna get me. In eight months, I'm gonna pass you. That hurts a little. It should hurt, quite frankly. It's alright. We'll have to cooperate in Monster Hunter. Yeah. Can't be mean to me there. You Do really you have like can't. a regular group? Sort of, yeah. But like the people, I play with Kate, and Kate's got some friends that play, but they're. They carry us, basically. So I actually am doing a lot of solo stuff right now just to make sure that my skills are sharp. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is, it's fun to play with them because if you ever need anything, the monsters just go down in like a minute. Like they're, they're oh, balanced fun. for uh, two people. So if you have one person, they're twice as hard. But if you have four people, they're twice as easy. Oh, okay. Or half as hard, technically. Until you get to like higher ranks and stuff. I, th I, I think they're always balanced for two. Really? Yeah. Do you ever, what rank are you? Uh, in multiplayer, I'm Hunter rank three. Basically, G3? basically four. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I, I watch a lot of uh, Gaijin Hunter. No, I, I, there's a streamer that I watch Pro a lot Jared. of. No, you do <laughs> Quen Quen words. <laughs> Quenchiest. I've been watching him for like a good year now. He was a big Monster Hunter three guy, and I was a big Monster Hunter four guy. He does a lot of four player. Yeah, um, you got a high level, up. and he's he's real good. Oop. Oh, there's two years left on that? Son of a bitch. Why are these truces so long? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that as well. I need to get out of this other war that I don't care for. Alright, armories everywhere now. Thank goodness. Oh, it's, you guys are lucky. I'm only going to take your coastal provinces. Uh oh, gaining points again. Oh, shit, how many? Point zero nine three. Oh, I'm still getting like point zero six on you monthly. Shit! 
two What's or it coming from? Two or three millennia. Uh, oh, I, I'm up to point one two four. Oh shit! I'm not gaining gaining that much anymore. I'm gonna pass you. I don't know what's causing the point gain. Yeah, just walk your four troops into my 18 that are two tech levels ahead of you across a river. <laughs> yeah, see if I mind. <laughs> Is Arumba still here? Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm just. Deep I'm watching thought. my colony. My, col oh, okay. <laughs> my my colony grows at 10 people per year. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's only a hundred years. Where are you colonizing right now? The only place I can reach it's it's Africa, and uh, it's not good. I already had an event that's like lose half your population, and I'm like, well, that'll give me fewer than the ten you start with. This <laughs> <laughs> is bad. I mean, really bad. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll pick up some more like global settler increase or something. How much you making in trade now, Quill? I, I need to feel good about myself. Uh, yeah, 9.3. Yeah, 26.6, baby. Damn. This isn't our Ooh, last got, one, right? Like, we have one more after this? We have one more, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, you got rebels, Quill. They do. Patriots. Don't worry. If you just let them do their thing, they'll probably come over to my country anyway. <laughs> that's why I hate taking land, like, that's overseas. Yep. I just don't like dealing with shenanigans so what is the distant overseas penalty 75 percent autonomy locked in wow okay what if you vassalize them and then integrate them you still get the same penalty mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay it's just a distance from capital type of thing unconnected land yep basically the same thing as colonizing overseas you just you can't can't lower the autonomy it's too hard to manage <laughs> like well, if i, I mean, were it really is hard to manage in a sense like like me taking care of these rebels is kind of a pain in the ass. They've they've, they've still got that that thing in there where like there's like a certain range from your capital that's not technically. So like if I take over Tangier, it'll be fine. But Garb, yeah. the one next to it, Garb, that's, it's impossible. <laughs> Can, how Can't. do you know? Like, does it tell you ahead of time? No, no. It's just it's there's like a circle mm -hmm. in my mind. You know, you play enough Dota, you kind of know what the range of spells are. It's, a, it's the it's the distant overseas spell. Yep. Yeah. The distance overseas tower. Mm -hmm. Hey man, this is what position are you in now? 18th. Oh god, you went up. <laughs> yeah, I got gained a point. Dang it. I'm at 14 points now. And me too. Oh shit. I'm gaining at 1.88. Point 1.88 rather. Point uh, 188. I'm gaining. Uh, I'm gaining zero. Do I want to lose 30 admin power or gain 10 unrest? 30 admin power sounds like a walk in the park. Zero manpower. Charka is completely sieged by Palenberg. Palenberg is at war with Chanka and Wanka. Yeah, <laughs> Wanka. <laughs> nice. I want to watch enough British TV that that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last dock, and then everybody has a dock. Good. Why do you even bother sending me like oh, 15 truce points, requests? Ryan? Yeah, I'm not I'm I'm behind now. Oh, damn. I'm getting zero. So you're going to you're going to pull out a little bit here. I think it Never might be because out. I have zero manpower. That well, I don't know. I have no idea what causes points to go up to be honest with you. Are I'm you getting no I'm getting no points from military, so. All right, I'm coming for you then. All right. You actually you look pretty scary though. You're pretty much the Ottomans. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite as big as the Ottomans. Western Ottomans. Oh, it's right. A merchant Republic. It's going to be bad. <laughs> you say that, but I barely know what I'm doing. So <laughs> if it was bad if this was in the hands of you or Roomba. I think you'll do pretty well if you've got that much income already. I can't even see you. You're not even. Yeah. You'll never see me coming. I'm still seeing Takeda as this really Pardon rich me? country. Takeda, it's in South America. They make 33 ducats a month. Wow. That's more than me. Jesus. I can see them. I can see their capital. They're actually just a little bit south of Nodongo. Hmm. Oh, you won't I'm take so vassalization. All right. All right. I'm so screwed. I hate you, Spain. Oh, I got a river crossing, really? Oh, he didn't move to a river. Oh, I have no maneuver. All right. Fair enough. Hmm. 
Do we even want this distant overseas then? I guess you do. Yep. <laughs> I gotta like make you a vassal, but you won't become a vassal because you're an elector. And I'd have to feed you. There's like 20 steps there, and I don't understand how to do any of them. All right, quick, before we end this, actually, Quill, how many, how, did you have 13 rebels there? Yeah. How many did you, How many troops did you bring over to just be like, to be safe in killing them? Uh, I brought, I had 16, I think. Okay. And that was with accepting a river crossing and forest. That's what I'm saying, yeah, that's what I'm curious, because you had two negatives there, and I was curious what you felt comfortable with for future use in my... Play. Well, it depends. Some rebels are tougher than others. Also, I do have a bonus um, discipline and morale bonus okay. built into my nation, so that helps a little bit. Yeah, yeah it depends. Yeah. All right, Usually uh... you can beat rebels with like even numbers, often, unless they have a really good leader or a really good defensive situation, because they have a bit of a penalty to their strength. Yeah, discipline's the best counter to, to rebels, because they won't get that. They get your technology level, they get your, your unit pips, and they get your tactics level, but they don't get discipline. Nice. And they don't get and they Morale. don't get com combat ability. If you oh, have like cool. infantry combat ability, that's good too. All right, let's wrap this one up, boys. All right, all right. Oh, man, this is calling the shots. Then, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See you soon.